Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. In today's video I'm talking about how I unlocked Neville Goddard's code. The code that deals with the simulation, you could call it, of this life. This is what I'm talking about today. I'm going to break it down. This is the most important aspect of reality creation, I believe. Before I get into that, if you like Spirituality Simplified, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, please join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, which has grown to 1,200 members now. And we're having a wonderful time connecting. I add other content on there. That's linked in the description. Okay, so let's talk about this. I unlocked the code, the source code for reality creation when I realized then that reality is very fluid. You know, Neville Goddard talks about how reality is in our own human imagination, you know, uh, creation. Jesus Christ, the creative power, is in our wonderful human imagination. But then he says to imagine, but then to live in the end, the law of assumption. What does that even mean? How do I live in the end when I, re when I don't have it now? Well, the thing is, right, is I want you to know this. The way that you are going to change your reality is to not be so responsive to your reality. This is, <laughs> this is it, man. Because the thing is, right, is reality is fluid when we are not emotionally stamping it on. When we embrace reality with the emotion, say, for example, let's say, right, this is the simple one. People want to manifest more abundance. So they start to visualize their bank account with 20,000 in, 100,000 in, da, da 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 They'll visualize it. But then they'll go through their life and they'll be like, oh, I can't afford that. I can't buy that. I can't do this. I'm scared to pay for this. I'm scared to pay for that. Do you see how every, every step they take is emotionally going against? Emotionally, when I say emotionally, I mean energetically going against the vision. So no, in no point there are they living in the end. Now this is the point, and it can become quite scary, right, for people to do it. But what you need to start to do is to live from that end in that sense of spend the money freely. Don't be crazy. Look, I'm a practical guy. Don't that go and get a credit card and start spending on it. But the money you do have, Say you like, I want a coffee. You know, I've got £10 left in my bank. I'm going to go and get a six, six quid coffee and drink. Do it with love. Do it with freedom in your heart and knowing that it'll come back to you multiplied. Start to recognise the fear you have to spend it and, and deal with the fear. Don't emotionally embrace. Don't take the action of spending it until you embrace the fact that it is a joyous thing. So start to really become free yourself from the shackles of fear. You see, everything that's holding us back is fear. In the Bible, it's, it's, it's God and the devil, right? But the truth is the devil is, look, he's fallen from God because he is the embodiment of fear. See, there is no real devil. There's just your fear that disconnects you from God, right? So what I'm trying to say is the source code, to unlock the source code of creation, is to always deal with your fears as they arise. That's the, that is the best spiritual technique that you can have, is to go right. Say, for example, when I was, I, I've told this story many times, so I won't go long into it. 40 pounds left in my bank, three children to provide for, a wife, living in a country that I didn't even speak the language at the time. I spoke, I, li I lived in Spain for a couple of years. I just decided I'd had enough of feeling that way, fearful, right? And then it's a journey from there. As soon as you make it about, I'm just going to overcome myself. I don't care about what happens now. I just want to overcome me. And I know if I live in this space long enough, I ha it will have to have an effect because it's all from me. I am, I am, you know, that I am in me is expressed out of me. But when the I am is fear, I am fearful, anxious, worried. What can I expect life to do? You see, life is very solid when we're fearful. Life is a very solid, hard thing to navigate when we're scared. But when you start to make it about how you feel, 
and like I've showed in other videos, you start to notice your reactions on your body, the sensations on the body and sit with them and breathe and relax and observe and release. Then you are absolutely in the source code at that moment. You're in the moment. You see, the source code lives in the present moment and you're only present when you're at peace and you're only connected fully to program your subconscious mind. It is only listening fully when you're at peace. That's why Joe Dispenza recommends meditation and that's why Neville Goddard says the state akin to sleep. You need to relax. But the thing is, is we live in a world of information now and and speed and quickness and quick next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. We never take time to relax ourselves. So for the next seven days, I ask you to not take a lot of action except noticing how you're responding to life. That's teaching you where you're living from. Because if you'd not, say if you go, if you did still only have £10 in your bank, but you go and buy that £6 coffee and and uh, and uh, sandwich, right? Then it's like, and but you're doing it with such a freedom. You're living in the end there. Watch out because something's going to come into your life to replenish that money and more. Because there's no fear around it. You see, this, the truth is, is when you are at peace, when you are flowing, you're living in the end then. Right? You're living in the end result. Because the end result for everything that you want is, is deep inner peace and, and knowing and love and, and effortlessness. Right? Because it's like... Now I'm married. I've got the love of my life. It's, it, there's not. I yes, I put effort to show that love, but there's no effort required now. It just is. She's my wife. It just is. When it comes to my finances now, I look at the bank, and it just is. I'm. I just expect it to be that way. It just is. I have no like. Ex, I'm not extravagant. I'm not. Whoa. I'm not. Wow. I'm just. Ah. Okay. Nice. See, this is what happens with life. Is create inner sort of such an inner sanctuary with inside your own emotional and energetic being that you are not wanting for anything else you do not want for anything else because you don't need it anymore and dr joe says this and it's so true you do not once you do not need the thing that you're looking for it will come to you effortlessly because i feel so wonderful inside you see so you don't need to visualize every night if it makes you feel good, do it. But what you need to do is live in the real in the real world, in that energy where you feel so good just for being here, just for being able to experience it. Watch out, because something miraculous will happen in that area of your life. I hope that makes sense. I hope you like what I'm saying here. If you want to learn more, check out michaelwatsoncoach.com. And I'll see you at the next one, guys. Thank you so much.